hey girls, welcome back to Six Days of Sacrifice. I know that you would walk about folks to Six Days of Sacrifice. Oh, hello, who are you? <laughs> uh, walk, 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 walk. I'm not going to hurt you. Excuse me. Is your mother around? Or your father? Oh. My god, your eyes. What happened to your eyes? Guess who? Um. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Ah, oh, good. You're up. Mm-hmm. We can discuss the plan. Plan? That was now being unlocked. Good. Next move was to take Canning hostage again. If at first you don't succeed, try taking him hostage again. His door is being guarded by the Trilby guard. It'll be your task to distract him. Why me? Threat of physical violence must be made to get Canning under control. Uh, and you're not much of a threat. <laughs> so, you did. The, you didn't think of this yesterday. Hmm. All you have to do is lure the guard away from the main corridor, giving her, her the chance to slip in. Do you have a cell phone? Yes. Take, take her number. You can't reach the outside world, but we should be able to make calls within the complex. Because that's how phones work. Have you farted? Yes, I am. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> it can't be that, but even I it can't It smells smell. like rotting cauliflower. Uh, I'm going to blame these. Okay, yeah. Click the phone in the top menu, or right-click the phone in your inventory to call someone from your list of contacts. So if you go up, you've got journal and phone. And... Look on the eyes. Now you can smell it. <laughs> you just say. Yeah. Take take book. Add it to journal. Twice did the twenty eighth day of the seventh month pass, and the prince gazed with great concern upon the land of technology. As the carving of the slave passed through the hands of a great many ignorant men of technology, but the king would not let him take his vengeance. For he said the guide seeks the carving of the slave, and it is through this desire that he shall fulfil his destiny. It will not be long before the guide learns that his duty has not yet been completed, and that he and then he shall do as I have foreseen. And the king said it and as the king said it, so it was so, for the bridge keeper did touch one of the ignorant men, and by their conjured hands was the thief wife thrown down, and truly did she know the name of the king. Oh. And with this act the guide said, I see you I see and you I see you know, Bridgekeeper, I have found you, I have not forgotten, and he came for the tree that was the prince's soul, for it was here that the carving of the slave had been bought, brought. That was six seven days. Yep. Uh, that was basically influencing the seven days yes, incident. Yeah. The the part of that was the the, the tale of of uh, seven days and part of it was Trilby's notes. Mm -hmm. Okay now. How do we how do we distract this guy? Well, having known Trilby from five days ago, oh look, there's some things to nick over there. Yes, which would work except for the fact that there's a slight problem with this Trilby. Hmm. And he goes, "Got you." Oh shit. <laughs> oh, we've been locked in. Uh, isn't that what we do with anything else? Anyway? No. Let's open the door. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Call. Call, uh, Sam. Okay. Ah! Thanks, mate. Destiny calls. He busts us out of the cell and teleports us to. Uh, oh god, it's some kind of ancient skeleton dressed in the remnants of an anorak. There's a huge hole in the back of its skull. And it smells. Oh, look at the disturbance. Some kind of manifestation hovering above the ground. It looks so strange to my eyes, like a black hole in the air itself. I want to touch it. Mm -mm. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I don't think it's really. I can't. I don't think I can touch it. I don't think it's really there. Okay. Can I take this box yet? Can I use my lens on the disturbance? 
Can I talk to the disturbance? No. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, back in this room again. Yep. Open the. Okay. Look at Bloodstain. I don't see anything interesting. <laughs> I would say I'm say Catacillotic Bloodstain in the game, but I actually quite like that one. Hmm. Um, open the door. Okay. <laughs> Walk off screen. Yeah, I think it shows just how small the screen we're working with. You, you see the uh, you can see the mouse cursor there. Yeah. That's a normal sized mouse cursor. Yep. Yeah. Open the door to the hallway. Open the first door on the left to enter the bedroom. Uh. Yeah. Just tell her we done goofed. Use the. Oh wait, what's that post-it note? Post-it note. note, lock. Look at post-it note. Perfectly ordinary post-it note stuck to lock it up. Well, well, pick it up then. I'll add it to my journal. Instructions for opening the locker, you only have to ask. Let me guess, what? Nope. Help. Nope. Open. <laughs> really? Yep. We take clothes. So we can, okay. Ah, that's what we want. The key card. Which does I don't know. Opens the door. Take the key card. Open the door to the hall. Open the third door from the left. We get caught again. Excuse me. The third door from the left to enter the office. Is it not surprised we actually got out? No. Big heavy metal and electronic. God knows how Sam and Janine got through this. Hello. Thank you. Yes, I know density calls. Open door. Uh. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, if that stinks, you have no way to ju no reason to judge me. The guards start to walk the. Oh, uh, open the lift door to the hall. Walk left. Ah, okay. Mm hmm. Cutscene. Wait! He says, What the hell is this? It's the tall man! Quick, run! Why do you keep killing him? The hotel. Oh god. Let me out! Yep. And he just disemboweled Trilby. Again? Uh, yep. Well, last time he crushed his head against the wall. Mm. Okay, let's call Sam Harty. Uh, uh, I got the guard away from the door. Yes, I'm very sure. 
I'm very sure I got him away from the door. You might say I'm deadly sure. Yeah. Oh. Father. Yes. You, you may start recognising certain... Where is this? Textures. Yeah, I'm going to say it looks a bit different now. In fact, yes. wait a minute, that looks like a fireplace. Which? The, you mean the th right where it says father? There! Uh, where? There? Here, the left hand side, look where I'm pointing, the left. See that? that? Looks like the end of a fireplace. Oh, the, uh... Oh yes, the thing you told him to shred, told the guard to shred. Yes, but it isn't the end of a fireplace. Oh. If you did, you'd go insane. Yes, you must not recognize over every little, little thing. Like these guys all get, who all look the same getting killed in front of you. Ah, yes. Aren't you tired of this yet? Your pet guard won't be able to help you this time. He dead. My pet? I would say he was yours as much yours as mine, wouldn't you? Shut up. She told you about the work she was doing for us, sir. Uh, nope. Get moving. And no funny business or you get a bullet in the leg to help you along. Get in. Okay, Canning. I'm gonna complete you're completely on mercy. Tell us what we want to know. And he goes, <laughs> How do we call the lift? You don't. The one in the main corridor can only be called from the upper floor. Looks like we have to get used to each other, my dear. There's got to be another way up. Oh, there is. It's in the hub. But you'll never get past the security locks and open the blast doors. Open the blast doors! Open the blast doors! <laughs> You're going to tell us how. Oh, this is laughable. You're trying so hard to do it like they do in action movies, aren't you? <laughs> what are you going to do, torture me? You really think I, an acolyte of the Order of Blessed Agnes, would be scared of pain? No. He's done to himself far worse things than you could dream up. <laughs> now what? Open the hub door. Yes, well, we've got a key guard. Feel free to question the prisoner. I'm sure you could benefit from his knowledge. When you wanting us to not talk to him a few minutes ago? You don't trust her. No. Nope. And yet you don't trust her. You wonder what it is she's hiding, do you not? Quiet. You understand so little. Alright, Anthem. Okay, talk to me, Can. Uh, who is the tall man in black? The one with the white mask. Ah, you see, you've met the prince. Twice. You consider yourself lucky. That thing's the prince? What the hell is he? I'm not inclined to spoil the secrets of the order to an outsider. Outsider. Even though I were, very few acolytes are privy to the secrets known by the prince. And even the highest ranking members know only slightly more than I. Implying you're not highly ranked? Who is the man in red? Who? Bald man, red robe... <laughs> is he one of your people? Nope. No idea. All the acolytes of Chizo take very good care of their robes. What's the deal with this cult? The deal? The deal is that the Order has existed for centuries. We believe in the true way to purification. PAIN! Blessed agonies of the mind, body and soul to wash ourselves of sin. One day, nothing. One nothing. day you'll get a big, de big, mad pain god on the earth. Mm. This is all about. You're going to take over the world! <laughs> like some Saturday morning cartoon villain. <laughs> I said nothing. <laughs> Tell me about the blessed agonies. <laughs> Thinking of applying? Hell no. Let's see why not. 
For an individual to be fully purified, all three aspects of themselves must experience blessed agony. The agony of the body, physical pain. The agony of the mind, boredom, fear and insanity. The agony of the soul is more refined. It's about destroying someone or something the subject loves utterly and relies upon emotionally. You do this to yourself again and again. No, nope, you can only do the agony of the soul once. But, yeah. This is insane. Well, insanity is one of them, so... Do you know the same peace as I? The same utter contentment that comes with the knowledge that you are absolute purity? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Why are we being held here? You are here to protect the secret that this complex exists. But he didn't receive the order. In time they will let me know too. <laughs> what was Dr. Harty doing for you? She won't tell. Oh, and you think I would? Oh no, young man, this is something you have to see for yourself. I'd hate to spoil the surprise. You lo you're loose and you're locked up. Don't count your chickens. Many more to take my place. Uh, your guard's dead. Really? Doesn't that bother you? Nope. <laughs> of course, I don't think you do. If you did, you'd know my guard's condition may not be as permanent as you believe. Oh, great. Nothing more to say. Okay, open door. Open door to his office. Search filing cabinet. Probably. You're, you're thinking. Your paper paper looks looks oh, that's my journal. We live in the universe of technology or the scientific realm. Our magic is very sparse. Our shadow in the universe of magic, or ethereal realm, where magic. You're just going to pass that to me. Yeah. I'm guessing. Mm. Old easier for to travel between the realms. The druid Kabadath created a bridging portal easily. The background level of magic has faded. A ritual much larger is required for transport. The creation and sacrifice of the bridge. A living creature with ties to both realms. When all three of the bridge's aspects are annihilated in conjunction. Echoes ripple through the membrane between realms and a portal happens. Uh, bloody bloody blah. Use computer. Hmm. Some kind of environmental pro. Release level 1 security. Release level 2 security. Oh no, we can't do that. Okay. So we have to release level 1 security. Um, I'm not, it's not that they even say anything about that here. Day two. Use the locker. Open. Use the t exit. The release level will secure it. Exit the office. Use the specs to get the lens. Open the second door from the right. The security room. This one. Use the touch screen. Uh, change, change camera to camera four. Use the lens on the monitor. Use uh, ch use the touch screen and review input. That's what I missed. Review input. Use the lens on the monitor. Make out the number on the notepad. 7759. Use the lens. Open the left door. Walk east to the blast door room. Ah, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, open this door. 7759. Ah. Yeah. So in this place we have slot and keypad. So we go to the slot, use the key card. Uh. And go to the panel, the keypad, and then type in seven seven five nine. Yeah, that was it. Nine. 
Excellent work, Decade. Now we need to turn both wheels simultaneously. Yes. I'd need both hands free. Gonna have to need. We're gonna need another pair of hands. So now we go to. In other words, you need to call Janine. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah, of course. This is where I cocked up when I first played because Janine. Uh, um, we need you help. Need your help to open the hub. Yep. Oh, I don't think I could. You have to. You're the only one who can help. We'll get it open, then we can get out. What if I run to him? There's no one else around. Canning's in the cell. His guard is dead. Dead? Yep, no one else is moving. Come on, this is our ticket out. Okay, I'll be there soon. Ready? Three, two, one. Twiddle! Open it, and... Doesn't look like a lift to me. No, it doesn't. Wait here. I'll check it out. Do you trust her? Nope. Do you? Nope. <laughs> I'd oh, trust her if she gave me a reason to trust her. But right now she seems our best hope of getting out of here. Uh, yeah, I mean, compare, look at this height. Yeah, that's just... I mean, you guys, to you guys, this is a huge screen, but... The, the yeah, amount, yes. How look, tiny! See? The killer kiss and because how tiny the freaking... I'm not we sure we should trust her to go in there alone. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle. Oh, here she is. Oh, she's dead. Oh dear. She's very dead. Aren't you going to say something? Um, I can't think of anything. We're going to die down, down here. here. Don't say that. Get back into the hub. He won't let us out. He won't let me out. You have to stop it. I see you. You're the one who did this to me. You didn't do anything. Why won't you stop him? How many times do you have to kill him? Mr. Decay? Yes. I'm sorry. I have to run away. Excuse me. And can probably you get ah. I wouldn't go out there if I were you. Night has fallen. The prince is on patrol. He's in no danger. At least not from him. Remain here till morning. My identity is meaningless. I'm just an avatar. I have no allegiances. If you're not with the cult, help us get out of here. I can't. We'll go badly for you if you don't. There's going to be some serious police action after this. He doesn't care. I cannot do that. Why, Why not? not? Because that is now how it goes. Yes. Okay, give me strength. You seem very, very confident you'll escape from this place. Of course I do. Um, why? Because, because I have to be. If I wasn't, I'd go insane. insane. <laughs> why, why resist? resist? Screw you, whoever you are. Okay. Well, I thought that was going to be end of day two. That should have been end of day two. Open right door. Or try to. And... Oh. Flicker, 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 flicker. That looks like the four mana. Yep. Congratulations. Wait, who's that? Who the hell do you think you are? Oh god. Stop this. Stop what? The other one pretending to be me. Oh god. Oh. Sleep. Sleep. So whatever he is, he's more powerful than the tall man. Oh yes. Oh, he's far more powerful than the tall man. And that's saying something. Oh, my head. I don't remember falling asleep. No, you, you got you got rescued and then the guy said sleep and then that was it. Got to find out what's in the hub. Before anyone tries to go inside it again. Open. Okay. Uh, third door from the right. 
was that. What's that one? Because that's the security one. Hey, Trilby! Uh, ah, who are you? Wait, he didn't remember. Dead? Yep. Uh, yes, I remember, I remember being, being dead. dead. A couple of times. <laughs> I don't remember you. <laughs> uh, yes, Trilby, you see this big pool of blood I'm the behind where I'm stood? Yes, that's that was your guts. Honestly, uh, perhaps, perhaps it's best that I don't remember. remember. <laughs> yes. So where am I? It's this is impossible. Are you gonna question my questions anytime soon? Uh-huh. Talk to the guard about Yep, okay, talk to the guard. Yes? <laughs> you don't remember working for the Order. Order? The Order of Blessed Agonies? Agonies. I remember something. I get a name. John Defoe. He's important in some way. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think I spent many years researching it. More than you know. I've never heard that name before. You don't remember why you were working for the Order? I'm afraid not. So what do you remember? Not much. A few flashes now and then. Dreams and sounds. No dates or details attached. I remember John Defoe. And from that, from that name, a few other memories return. Some, standing on a hill, watching something burning in the distance. Defoe Manor. Defoe mm, uh, Manor, yeah. My hands covered in blood. Defoe Manor. Manor. And a place that was two places at once. The hotel. hotel. I'm lying on something hard. My stomach really hurts and someone is talking to me. That's the oh. end of tr notes. Mm. But it's mostly a fog until at the moment I wake up here. Mm. So Who I are wake you? up here. Not right here. I found myself gravitate to this spot. This is where you were killed. No wonder you're attracted to this place. That would explain it. Who are you? Would be. Who are you? My name is Trilby. <laughs> that much uh. I know. Even that soul fact isn't sufficient, though. I get the feeling I have or had other names in the past. Trilby the Cat Burglar? Cat Burglar. Yes, that was one of my names. <laughs> and then you and then he was Trilby the Government Agent. You can't possibly Trilby Trilby. Nevertheless, I'm certain that Trilby's my name. But Trilby died hundreds of years ago. And I already told you. I remember that I was dead. So your statement only reinforces my claim. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. And it, here we are. Maybe you should go look around where you woke up. What was your name? The Cave. Been a great help, Mister The Cave. Excuse me, won't you? And he just wanders <laughs> blindly through the puddle of his own blood and out the door. Okay. Well, this is certainly more interesting. The last few. Hmm. I mean, Trill's notes were pr was very good. I must admit, a lot of it really. Do and so was Five Days. I didn't like um, Seven Days. A skeptic, though, as much. Mm. Use touchscreen. Mm. Or not. We're almost out of time Don't for this episode, use anyway. Use touchscreen. I want to get to the end of this paragraph. Change camera. Camera 5. Seven four one is apparently the password. Although I've got no idea how I'm supposed to find that. And so the password: use the touchscreen and download current image. Download the image onto my phone. What is the image? I can't really see the image even from from that. From what is going on over? Hmm. Some kind of void circular chamber viewed from above. This must be the hub. Strange. From the look of it, there's some, nothing in it but the remnants of some old ruined building. The, the hotel. Nope. You keep thinking Defoe it's the top. Manor. It's Defoe Manor. Seriously? Yep. Uh, open the door. Open the first door on the hands. Ah, yes. Uh, we should, uh, in that case, we should probably save here. Yep. Because our next step takes into a cutscene. Well, I've always, I've, before I've always thought it was people to ship. No, I then I thought it was a hotel because of these 
switching my throw off, but I can tell the, the, from the walls it's still emerging to the four mana. Yeah. Anyway. I've been gone. I'm Rewind. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.